An airway that's restricted, meaning the space behind the tongue is small and airflow becomes a problem, especially when someone lays down. It, gravity gets worse. You know, a lot of people even, we talked about this forts. If you sleep on your back, you do worse than on your side, right? Yes. Because the tongue can fall back and restrict that airway. And then you're, you have a bottleneck of airflow. So people are more <laughs> prone to having breathing issues at night when they're sleeping for those reasons. It's a, an a anatomical position. It's, um, um, it's, it's a gravity thing. But also what happens is when someone starts to sleep and relax and they get to deeper stages of sleep, so soft tissues relax and that space will narrow more, right? And it'll close more. So like, that's what the DICE procedure is. Right. Um, drug induced sleep endoscopy is really just to put someone, relax them enough to see if they're obstructing or where they're obstructing. Mm -hmm. Because when you're, when the muscles relax, a narrow passage will obstruct. Yeah, it's a diagnostic procedure used to try to identify the airway kink that's exactly. causing someone's sleep. So all this stuff is pretty common yeah. sense, right? So like we said, it, you know, breathing and air, oxygen is everything. Without it, we don't have life. So the body will not allow someone to completely suffocate. So what happens is when people sleep that have a small airway, the body has to compensate to open up that airway. So while someone's asleep, they clench their teeth, they posture around, they move around, they're putting a lot of pressure on their jaws for many hours every day. And on top of that, most of these people have poor mechanics, their bites are not good, they have crowding, they're retrognathic, they have underbites, overbites. So you have bad mechanics and you know six to eight hours of functioning on that joint every day. To me, it makes all the sense of the world that that's contributing to TMJ destruction. Right. And, and aging, I would call it aging, right? Um, because at the end of the day, nothing stays pristine in our bodies. Everything has an aging process. Yeah. And arthritis is really just an aging, aging process of the joints. The TMJ problems are just an aging process of joints. And what's, excel what's happening is that aging of that joint is accelerated in these conditions. So undoing that, giving appropriate airway, fixing the bite mechanics gives the environment of that joint a much better position to slow down that aging process and function better.